Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the half-boiling Joker Progrise key from Kamen Rider Zero One. Now this was a special arcade prize in Japan and therefore is a little bit more rare and took me a while to track down, but I am finally happy to add it to the collection. I found it for a reasonable price on Mandarake, that's where I picked mine up. This is a Legend Rider key, obviously we have Kamen Rider Joker here from Kamen Rider Double, featured very prominently here on the front of the packaging. On the top here, you can see the Progrise key itself, and you can see a cool picture of Joker here on the bottom as well. It shows off how it works with the Zero One driver, the Shot Riser, and the Force Riser. Since this is a candy toy quality key, there's going to be sounds but no lights, and it only has sound effects for those three main uh, drivers. So we'll be taking a look at those three in this video. And then here's a cool picture of Zero One and Joker on this side. And then over here on the back, it's really just a bunch of warnings and whatnot now it talks about two uh, batteries i don't believe the batteries were included in this one uh at least mine definitely didn't have them because whenever mandarake sends out things with batteries they always take the batteries out to meet the guidelines for the shipping companies and whatnot so i'm not 100 percent sure if batteries were included with this and they took it out or if it's just you had to always supply your own batteries but either way it does take two watch batteries which I had to go get myself. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get this one out of the box and we're going to take a closer look. So here is the half-boiling Joker Progress key out of the box. Very nice purple paint here on the front. If we go ahead and open this up, you can see the sticker underneath. That does come pre-applied. Taking a look on the back, you can see with the QR code here, it is 080. And it is one solid piece. It's not a gashapon. So if we go ahead and hit the button on the side, so it says the ability. And then if we hit it again, it's going to go to the zero one driver. And then now it'll just kind of cycle through the sound effect and then the other drivers and so forth. And then if I hit it again, it'll go back around. Last so pretty cool. Now basically you've heard all of the sounds that it does make, but we're going to pair it with the sounds from the driver. So we'll go ahead and start with the zero one driver. So it has the transformation jingle, but because it's a candy toy quality key, it doesn't have those extra sounds to integrate with the attack sounds. Surprise. 
So you can hear if you go ahead and pull the trigger, it just hits the button again. And so the sounds don't really line up, so you really can't use this for the attacks, it's really just a transformation. So it began because it's a candy toy quality key, you just get the transformation. If I go to try to do some of the attacks, it's just going to cycle through the sound some more. So it's a pretty cool key, and I am happy to have it in my collection. But honestly, it doesn't have a ton of functionality. Because it's a candy toy quality key, it just really gives you the transformation jingle in the three main drivers, and that's about it. And I never really understood that. When they have these prize keys that are supposed to be highly coveted and highly sought after, why do they always cheap out and make them candy toy quality? I would want them to be DX. Give me the full lights and sounds. Give me the full functionality. We saw the same thing when they did the gomberizing key for Forza, and I just I don't understand it. I mean, I can understand when you're selling candy toys because they're cheaper, you need to make them, you know, take some of the sounds out, take the lights out to kind of keep the price down. But this is supposed to be a, a big prize for, you know, doing the claw machine or however in the arcade you earned this in Japan. And I just don't really get it. I feel like it should definitely be a DX. But in my opinion, it's going to be a your mileage will vary kind of a thing. Are you a completionist? Do you have to have all the keys for your collection? You know, I mean, it is Joker from Double, and I think that's awesome. And I love Double, so I definitely wanted it. And I'm happy that I have it, but I just, I wish it had more functionality. I mean, I say this about all the candy toy quality keys, and it is true. But like I said, when you're actually selling them for 3 to $5 a pop, I understand why they have to be a little bit cheaper. This should be a DX. It's a highly sought after prize key. Like, it should be a reward. It should be a full DX. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.